Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to share a little bit. I, I've been illustrating or starting to illustrate um, the book and it's been going pretty well, a little slow. Uh, there's a lot of detail in this page. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I was working on. I'm building, I decided to build this in Illustrator. Um, I'll show you my style reference. I pulled some, some uh, inspiration that I have um, and dropped them into the artboard. Uh, so it's gonna, the book's going to have a real graphic style. So Illustrator is going to work real nice with that. And the thing I like about Illustrator, it's very easy to manipulate um, and move things around. So if my die lines need to shift a little bit, it's a very quick fix to the art, and it'll be nice. Um, so right now I'm just working real graphic and simple, and uh, I'll go in and add texture and um, a lot of like little detail uh, after. So let me just show you what I have so far. Um, these are the die lines for the second page, the Mountain of Toys. And um, here's what I have in color. Uh, my sketch was here, and that's um, I'm using that as my art placement. Um, just a real rough guide. Uh, so let's turn on my color and my background. Um, so this is what I have so far. And um, uh, I'll show you the tools that I'm using. Um, I, I'm going to jump in between key commands. Um, it's real easy to toggle between the, the different brushes. Uh, I'm going to use Blob Brush, which is um, Shift B, uh, the, the Pencil tool, um, which is N, and uh, the White Arrow tool, which is A. And I'll jump it between those quite a bit. Um, also, quite a bit. Um, here's my color palette. I pick my swatches there. And um, we might use some graphic styles, and the Pathfinder um, palette uh, will be extremely helpful. So um, we'll just go in and, and pick um, uh, the toy that, that maybe we want to draw. So let's. Uh, how about we? Okay, so we'll start with the blob brush tool, which is Shift B. And what I like to do is draw my outline first. Uh, so this car will be blue. And we'll just draw a real nice, simple shape. And we'll just do that just like that. And what I'm going to do is I, ch I change to my um, direct selection tool. And I'm just going to click on the inside of that path. Now, if, if I go to Keyline View, let me turn my sketch off first. If I go to Keyline View, you can see that it's nice, clean. It's, it's a closed path, and it just has this inner um, I just selected the inner part of the, uh, the path. So I'm just going to delete it, so now I have a nice fill. Um, I want to keep things real loose. That's the reason I'm using the blob brush tool. Uh, I use a Wacom tablet, um, so I'm just drawing it on there. So it's not going to be a nice, clean uh, path. We're going to get a lot of um, jitter, uh, which is uh, it, it uh, gives a nice effect. So. Um, these might be a little too rounded, so what I do is use the pencil tool, which is N, and I can go in and just kind of redraw my shape a little bit. And this just shapes it up a tiny bit. And just do that there. Kind of box it off a little bit. Okay, so um, that looks okay. I'm, I'm happy with it. So I'm going I'm to switch to the pen tool, because this one I want to get a little bit more concise. And I'm just going to draw the window that I want. And there we go. I'm going to close it. And mess with the handlebars a little bit there. Okay. Yep, that looks like a good window. I like it. Um, so now I'm going to use that to punch this out from the Pathfinder. So I'm going to select both. I'm um, using Shift. I'm going to select both paths. And I'm just going to punch it. Um, using uh, uh, that, uh, that button there. So I have one window, now maybe I want another one. I'm do a smaller window in the back. And we'll just, same thing, we'll punch that out. And I'm kind of happy with it, but this should drop down a little lower. So what I'm gonna do is go into direct select, or um, isolation mode, double click. Now I can grab this and just kind of drop it down. Maybe I'll resize it a little bit. Can we turn it? Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's very tiny. We're at 600%. It's going to be a very small piece. So usually I'm working a lot faster than this. So let's get out of uh, isolation mode. 
and um, let's add some bumpers. So let's go back to Blob Brush Tool, Shift B. Um, I'll pick a nice light gray, and we'll just draw a bumper. That looks nice. Delete the inside. Draw another back bumper. There we go. Sure, looks good. Delete that. And now let's give it some wheels. So I'm going to go back to Blob Brush Tool and select black. And uh, I'll just draw a wheel. And then delete the inside. Draw another nice wheel. Happy little trees. There we go. And uh, let's give it some hubcaps. So I'll just draw the hubcap in there. Draw the hubcap again. Again, using the Blob Brush Tool. We're going to use that quite a bit. And maybe these wheels need to be a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to grab that, and enlarge it. Same here. Enlarge it just a tiny bit. All right, this is a little wonky. So again, I'm going to go back to my pencil tool. I'm going to kind of fix this. Um, I like it, but I might give this, um, uh, give the door a little bit of, um, shape. So I'm just going to draw a line here. Now I've already made these graphic styles. Um, I'm using uh, this rough brush and a graphic style you basically take your appearance of whatever you draw and you can drop it in the graphic style and it will remember it. So um, I'll do that and give it a little bit of shape there. I'll take that and change the color. There we go, we got a door. So now that I have that finished uh, I'm going to select it and I'm going to group it. And that is the nice thing uh, about Illustrator here. I never get deep down into these layers. Yes, there are a lot going on in those layers, but using isolation mode and grouping, um, I really never have to go that deep in this path. Um, I have my different pieces. I think it's lagging because of the recording. But um, So here's one piece, and then I can just grab my block site needs to be moved over here. Grab my slide, move it over there. Grab the saw. This is a play saw. And move it up here. Um, so it's real easy to manipulate everything. And then uh, as we go along and all these flat shapes are finished, we're going to go in and start adding textures um, and uh, some shading and things. And, and that'll give everything just a little bit more interest. Um, but uh, that's basically how I'm creating this. And so we have our characters here that they're going to be at the top of this mountain. Um, and uh, that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for following along, and I hope to add um, some more of these videos down the road. Thanks.